Today's project is a mineral feeder. To do this, we're going to be using a 55 gallon barrel. We're going to be cutting at this line right here. And we're going to be using a tractor tire to help support the weight of it and keep the animals from pulling it over. We're now going to find the center of the barrel and drill a hole in it so we can use it as the support rod for the lid that's going to go on it. We're using a rod that's threaded on both ends and some flat washers with nuts to support it in the center of here. Uh, after finishing this, I'm not sure whether this is going to be strong enough, but if we have to modify it to a bigger support rod, we can. Now we're going to make the lid for it. Using a piece of twine and a pen, we're going to create a circle. And so I'm just going to hold this down in the center and use the twine to make a perfect circle around to give us a mark to cut. This is thick rubber that you might use on the floor of a horse stall. Um, I think this was actually an old conveyor belt. Uh, we found it on Facebook Marketplace for very, very inexpensive. Um, not sure what Leanne paid for it. So all that's left is to drill the hole in the rubber lid and install it on the tub that's in here. As you can see, we actually made the tub a little taller than the tire. In case any water gets in around the edge of the tire, the water's not going to go down into our mineral feeder. And then once the lid is on here, we will actually move it up into the animal's pen and we will put some minerals down in the bottom of it. And they should be able to push up on this lid with their nose and open the mineral feeder to get into whatever minerals we decide to put into it.